that model was from a malicious threat actor, you know, unknowingly. And he also had his company Disney Slack um, platform on his personal computer. And that malicious model, once it entered onto his laptop, uh, breached the Disney Slack channel and it exposed, you know, millions of chats from the Disney chats channel and thousands of PDF documents. So the, the corporate system was breached. His social security number, credit card information, and other sensitive and personal um, pieces of information were also breached. So this man, you know, downloaded a seemingly innocent model trying to experiment with AI from GitHub, um, probably didn't have the tools to scan that model for malware, and as a consequence, lost his job and had major consequences for his finances, for his data security, for his identity. Um, so that was an example of someone downloading a seemingly innocuous model off of a public repository. It had malware, it had malicious code in it, and data exfiltration, um, data exfiltration impacted that user, but also an enterprise system. So yeah, these these models are are out there. <laughs> um, and I think I think that's that's part of why we're seeing and encouraging more of a shift to using vetted models in vetted contained systems. Um, but even when you're using a tool like Copilot Enterprise,